Oh, welcome back to GenC.com where today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to install our GenC GX7 Pro LED conversion kit in any of the open beam headlights that we carry for AutoPal. So AutoPal has these headlights that are glass fronts with steel rears so they are definitely a quality item they're not plastic and uh, they're very good headlights but obviously if you have a halogen bulb in there the lighting output is not going to be that well so what we do is we offer you a upgrade with the headlights which is our GX7 Elite Pro LED conversion kit these are H4 bulbs and they will work on our 5 and 3 quarters the 7 by 6 the 7 inch rounds and also the 4 by 6s so with these LED headlights basically you'll have a low beam and also you have a high beam function it's a complete plug and play essentially directly to your factory harness so back to the headlights here what you're gonna see is we have already installed a GX7 on one side and we have already a halogen bulb on the other side now I'd like to put those side by side so that you can see there's not gonna be much of a difference in the depth so you won't have to modify the bucket that you actually have to install these headlights in because a lot of times the LED conversion kit has too much to big of a base which essentially will hit on the back of the bucket not allowing you to be able to seat the headlight inside uh, without cutting the back of the bucket so if you hold on for a second we will go ahead and show you how to install a GX7 inside one of these headlights. Alright, so to install the GX7 kit is pretty easy. Obviously we have to remove these clips here to allow us to remove the halogen bulb. Once you have the GX7 kit, what you'll notice here is there's a little bearing right here. This allows you to essentially change the pattern on the headlight. So if let's say once you install them you feel like the pattern is not uh, good enough uh, and the headlight is too scattered, you can definitely adjust this to allow you to uh, get a better beam. But for now, we'll go ahead and pop this out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert it into the little rubber gasket. And we're going to pull the rubber gasket back on the actual light. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the little adapter. And we're going to just shove it in here. And it's going to click back into the actual bearing. And you'll be able to know it's seated because when you turn it, you'll feel the bearing essentially click. Once you do that, then we can go ahead and essentially put this right into the headlight. Obviously we have to line up the notches. Let me get that lined up here. There we go. Now we can go ahead and just bend these right around the grommet onto the other side. And then we'll be able to click them right into place. And then once that's done, we can actually put the grommet right back down as it was before, sealing the headlight perfectly, making sure that there's actually no moisture or no dust is going to get inside the headlight. And now you'll be able to ready to install the headlight and just plug into the factory harness. The video for the installation stay tuned and we'll go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison between the halogen bulb and the LED all right welcome back to GenC.com where today we're gonna do a quick comparison between the halogen headlight in a standard open beam 7x6 versus a GX7 Elite Pro in the exact same headlight right here so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the lights and do a comparison side by side so that way you can see the difference in the light output so now that we have the lights on we're gonna go ahead and turn on the low beam and let's see here turn both off alright so we got here we go low beam in the halogen high beam in the halogen and then we have low beam in the LED GX7 high beam in the LED